Hi guys. Happy Thursday. Yes, I am posting on Thursday instead of Friday because I am going to take Friday through Sunday off from all things social media. <laughs> no particular reason. I just need a break. <laughs> I just need a little break from posting. Um, so that means if you comment or anything Friday through Sunday, I probably won't respond to it till Monday or if you message me on my Facebook page. So I just want to make you guys aware. I'm taking a little break um, because I need to get some stuff done this weekend and hopefully go look at some homes. Hopefully. I'm going to go online on my husband's website because he, if you don't know, he is a broker slash realtor. He's a broker. He owns his own real estate company and he has agents under him. Um, so I'm going to get on his website and I'm going to look through some houses. The sad part is now that we're able to buy a home and we're ready to buy a home, I should say, there's not much on the market. <laughs> If you are thinking about selling a home, especially here in Michigan, I don't know how it is in the other states, but here in Michigan, it's a seller's market. If you want to sell your house, you're going to sell it. I mean, things are just going like that. There's not much to choose from. So that's why I had mentioned um, in another video that it may take us a while to find the home we want because there's not much to choose from. Um, and we're being a little particular in what we want because of our dogs. Now, I don't think I'm going to get the house with the big yard like I thought I was going to get, like the acreage, because we've decided we do not want to be house poor. Um, we could, we're approved for, you get approved for a certain amount, but do you want to spend the high amount that you're approved for? I don't. I don't want to be house poor. Um, <laughs> I got to have money for other things and... We hope in another five years or so, maybe we can buy a little place up north to get away to that is our own so we can have a place where we can bring our dogs with us on vacations. So we do not want to be house poor, so I don't think I'm going to get that house um, with the lot of acreage and no neighbors for miles. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm hoping I can find a couple maybe to go look at. Um, yeah, so anyways, I just want to have some time this weekend to do whatever I want and not be tied to social media. So I wanted to um, get on here because I don't think I answered Shay's question um, good enough in the video I posted yesterday about um, she's getting a new puppy and she's going back to work. She's taking a week off and then she's going back to work part time and wondered about um, how often they have to be let out. Now, if you read the comments under that video, people had great um, suggestions and a lot of pe people commented about how you need, they can hold, puppies can hold it for an hour of each month of life. So if they're two months old, they should be able to hold it for two hours. Sorry guys, let me answer the phone. All right, sorry about that. That was my daughter. She needed to request some time off for my son's girlfriend's open house in June. So she needed to know when that was. She can't remember. So, as I was saying, so if they're two months old, they should be able to hold it for two hours. Three months old, they should be able to hold it for three hours, and so on and so on and so on. Um, whenever I've had puppies, especially Magnum, I was letting him out like every half hour, it seemed like, <laughs> for a long time. Um, so if you can, <coughs> excuse me, if you can have someone come in, I don't know, you say you're going back to work part time, but is that like three, four hours a day? Or does that just mean a couple days a week, but they may be long days? You may want to see if you have a friend or someone who you trust to come in and let your uh, new puppy outside. Um, because when they're young like that, they can't hold it forever. And some people also mentioned having like a little pen area which is a good idea with some pee pads in it, maybe a little blanket for it to lay on or a dog bed, and then some water um, for them to drink. Uh, the only thing is with, if you set up a playpen area, then you need to make sure it's secure because puppies like to jump on things and if it's not secure, they could jump on it, it could fall over, it could hurt them, or they could get loose from it. So 
be aware of that too. Um, and then you may have to also then break them for pee pads. That's why I don't really like pee pads unless it's an emergency situation that you need to use them because if you get them used to using pee pads, now this is my own, my own opinion and maybe some people have had great luck with them, but I would think if you get them going on pee pads, not only will you have to break them from going pee pad from on the pee pads, then you got to get them used to going outside. So you got that double thing going on uh, that you have to work on. So, um, yes. Yeah, so I just wanted to, because when I was kind of giving yesterday, I was seeing my boys right now at the ages they are, how long I like to leave them alone, and they could stay longer. They could be, I could be gone longer than five hours. Um, that's just my preference of having someone come in if I'm gone longer than five hours. They could definitely hold it. They hold it all through the night. They could probably hold it up to 12 hours, but I don't like to leave them alone during the day that long because they're already um, in their crates at night when we're sleeping. So five hours is the max I'll leave them alone without having someone come in and letting them outside and get some exercise and get out of those crates. So. Um, I also wanted to mention that I got a list here so I don't forget anything. I also want to mention that I'm so happy to know that my boys are not the only poop eaters out there. There's a lot of other poop eaters out there, <laughs> whether it be bunny poop, dog poop, cat poop. There are other poop eaters out there and that makes me happy to know. Not happy for you guys because your dogs are eating poop, but I'm so happy to know that my guys aren't the only gross dogs out there. <laughs> and my dogs love bunny poop too. If you um, remember our old house we were in before this one, there was a lot of clover in the uh, yard and bunnies would come through out there. My dog actually killed a couple baby bunnies while we lived there. Um, We'd have a lot of bunnies in there, and every morning when I would let them outside in the morning, they would run to this certain spot where all the bunny poop always was and eat all the bunny poop, and there was nothing really I could do about it. So, yeah, my dogs love bunny poop too. So, like I said, I'm happy to know they're not the only gross ones out there eating poop. Um, she also wanted to know about exercise for her puppy. Um, when I first got my boys when they were puppies, I didn't worry about trying to walk them right away because they're running around, they're playing constantly and getting a lot of exercise when they're puppies. I'd say about when they were about four months old or so, I started walking them and just little bit by little bit until they get used to the leash. So and you, like you said, you're going to talk to your vet more about it. So that's what I would do too. Um, another thing about the um, puppy and going potty, um, always take your, after a puppy eats, Always take your puppy out at least 10, 15 minutes after they eat, because they're probably gonna go. After your puppy has played vigorously, like if they're really playing and stuff, take them outside. They've been working that system, running around, they're probably gonna go. <laughs> so that's another tip for uh, puppies and get them out to go potty. Um, someone also asked, this is a question I wanted to answer yesterday and I totally forgot. Why don't you take your boys anywhere? Um, one of the reasons I don't take my boys to pet stores, I'm not sure exactly what they meant by that. Um, if you're wondering about why I don't take them to pet stores, it's because, just because of the illnesses, um, like the dog flu and different things. My boys are vaccinated for certain things, uh, but I didn't get them the dog flu vaccination and, and some other ones, so I try to limit them being around other dogs. Um, and it's hard to take six boys with me. Um, when we used to live in our old house, we had an attached garage where we could get to the garage through the house. This one you cannot, you have to go outside to get to the garage because it was added on after this house was built. Um, in our other house, I could keep the garage door down, open the door to get in the garage and I could load them up easily without having to worry about someone running off and running away. Um, this house I can't, so I don't load them all up and take them for a drive. If, when, and when we get another house, if I have that option, I probably will take them for a little drive and hit the windows down so they can get some fresh air and go on a car ride. But, um, most of the time, if I'm going anywhere and they go with me, it's to the vet or if I take them out on their birthday to get a little, uh, kids cone from McDonald's. That's about the only time they ever go. Or like when I had to um 
fit them, have one go with me to PetSmart to uh, fit them for um, a new harness. I bought them all new harnesses from the Kong brand. I wanted someone with me so I could try it on and make sure I'm getting the right size. So that's about the only time I take them anywhere. So, and they're not suffering by not going anywhere. They're outside all the time and they go on walks every day unless uh, the weather's bad. So they're getting plenty of exercise and a plenty of time outside in fresh air. All right, and then I wanted to mention these treats I found at um, TJ Maxx, or not TJ Maxx, uh, Burlington Coat Factory. Burlington Coat Factory here used to be in our big mall. Well, they closed that store and moved it to another store. When it was in the mall, I never went in there. I don't know why. I never went in the store. I don't really go to the mall. Uh, if I go, I go to JCPenney or Maurice's, and then I'm out of there. Cause I don't like going to the mall. Um, but they moved to a strip mall where PetSmart and the Christmas tree shops are. Um, and something else is there, I can't remember. Oh, Alta, also the makeup store is there. And I thought, I'm gonna go in Burlington uh, today and check out the store. And they had a dog section. I didn't know that they carried anything for pets. And I found these um, sweet tater sticks. They're by Carolina Prime. They're made in uh, North Carolina and uh, when I looked at the fat, it said 0%. And it's just, the one ingredient is sweet potatoes, dehydrated. So I thought I'd try them out. They were $5.99. And when I looked on Amazon, I think they were like, oh gosh, I can't remember, $10.99, something like that. I'll link them below in our Amazon store if you want to check them out. So yeah, so I picked up two bags and I thought we'd um, try them out. Let me show you what the bag looks like. I always love looking at the dog treats um, and someone asked if I give my boys a lot of treats I don't give them a lot of treats but it seems probably like I get a lot but having six dogs they don't last long um, let's see if this does how many's in here it doesn't one two three so it looks like there's maybe a be nice whenever they get crowded up like that and I have a treat Magnum likes to make little noises. He never sniffs at anyone, but he makes noises like, hey, back off. <laughs> and I never want there to be a problem, so I stop it right when it starts. Looks like there's about 12, 14 um, sticks in here. So you gotta figure out, six dogs, this bag's gonna be gone in probably two days if I gave them one a day. Magnum, you're yelling, you're making noises at everybody because they're getting up here and then you're the way up in my business. Way up in my business. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Stay. No, see the babies of the family never stay. The other four do. No, see, <laughs> Milo and Magnum never stay on their bottoms. Stay, stay. One day they will. One day they will. I can get this thing open. Ooh, major sweet potato smell. No, no, get down, get down. Okay, Milo. <laughs> Mickey's always a good boy. Yes, Mickey's always a good boy. They're soft, they're not hard. Um, let's see how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. Yeah, there's seven left, so the the lone one will have to be broken up and given to them. So this bag's only gonna last me two times giving them treats. So I really don't buy that many treats. They get a dental treat every day and a bag of dental treats. I get a 40 count bag, last eight days for six dogs. Um, and then I usually give them a treat like this um, later on uh, in the afternoon. I give them their dental treat about 10 o'clock in the morning sometime. And then in the afternoon, I'll give them a treat, something like this. And then they'll get a bedtime treat, which is the small size milk bone when they go to bed. And if I have to put them in their crates because I'm leaving to go anywhere, I give them the really, the minis, the little teeny ones to put them in their crates. Um, so they don't get many treats at all. 
Boy, you guys devoured that. You devoured it. Even you, Milo. Usually you're the last one eating and you devoured it. Must have been good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I'll have these linked down below. I liked them because they're, well, it says the crude fat minimum is 0%. I'm sure there's a little bit of fat, but they're very low. I've never seen even the crude fat minimum say 0% fat. So that's really good for a schnauzer or any dog that has uh, pancreatitis uh, problems who could, has had attacks before. So yeah, you guys have to try these out. Okay, so um, remember, I'm not going to be on social media at all Friday through Sunday. Um, and I hope you guys have a good weekend. I'm hoping to have a great weekend. It is 65 degrees here today. Let me see if it's gotten any warmer. When I was out to the store, I had to return a couple things, and then I went into Burlington. Um, it was so warm, I couldn't believe it. Oh, it says it's 63 degrees. My car said 65 when I was out and about, but it feels so warm because it's been so cold. <laughs> so 60, 63 degrees feels like 75 to me. <laughs> I have the windows down in the car. I have the windows open in the house, airing the house out. That's how nice it is. So I'm so excited for spring. I'm so excited for summer and to have some sun on my face and warmth on my body. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys have a good weekend. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.